welcome back to my channel. I guess I'll start this little second wedding planning series vlog right here. This is number two, so if you didn't go see number one, definitely go watch that one first. But yeah, welcome to my channel. I'm Lauren. I am getting married in May 2022, and so I am planning my wedding. So I wanted to do these vlogs just like a huge compilations of wedding planning things. He has my sock, of course. That's the only time he acts crazy like that is when he has something he's not supposed to. Rocco, you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi? Come here. Anyways, I'll get that after. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy this new wedding planning vlog and let's get into it. I have a package that I really wanna open, so let's go open it. Okay, also huge major update. Um, We have almost secured a venue. I'm so excited, which means we have a 99% sure date, which is also very exciting. The only thing we have to do left for the venue is put the deposit down, but we're waiting for the contract and stuff to come over to even sign that. Um, But yeah, we're so excited. We have a venue, we have a date, and which means we have catering because it is inclusive and stuff. So yeah, I also found a photographer and a videographer. I haven't secured anything yet. Like I haven't put deposits down on anything yet, but once I do, they'll be 100% with us for the wedding. So that is so exciting. All the big things, well, not all of them, not even close to all of them, but some of the big things are done. The major things are done. I still need to find other things like DJ, florist, officiant, and valet service, like a bunch of other stuff that my venue requires, but they have a list of people that they prefer, so it's kind of easier because I can just go through and email all those and ask for quotes and stuff, so that should be easy. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Today is Monday, January 17th, and tomorrow I like officially kind of start school. I started last week actually, but this week is the first week in person, so it's like actual the real deal. So today's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so we don't have class today so i'm gonna try to get a lot of the stuff done today kind of that i can but i can't really do much because also people are off today so not really responding to emails and stuff so yeah oh i actually also just dropped off something at the post office which is exciting and then also also i'm asking all my bridesmaids this week so i'm excited i'm asking three of them on wednesday one of them on friday and then two of them i don't know yet but sometime this week probably um but yeah we're excited here we're very excited okay guys i have a package and I'm gonna open for you. I'm pretty sure I know what it is and I am so excited about it It's very very packaged up here So I'm gonna like get it started and then I'll probably tell you once I open it This thing literally came packaged so crazy. It's like in wood. Rocco, no, you're gonna get a splinter Oh my goodness Let me make sure it's spelled right. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It's our wedding hashtag. Welcome to the party Props to my sister for thinking of it. Not that creative, but it's so cute. Oh my god, I need to show her. Uh, yeah, that's one of two neon signs that we have. We have another one coming that just says the Wilkums, which is like bigger than this one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello vlog. Hello vlog. Look who's finally here to help me. Wedding plan. We just almost finished up the guest list addresses so we just texted everybody that we need addresses from and we only need like six more total which is good oh my gosh but yeah i feel a lot better now that we have all those and he also just asked he's asked four out of six of his groomsmen and best men best man so that's done with also. He's asked more people than I've asked to be my bridesmaids, but he's mm -hmm. literally just FaceTiming them. So mm -hmm. that's why it's different. But yeah, I'm not going to show you the list because everyone's addresses are on it. But it's very satisfying to be able to check people off this list. And also while we're doing this, we're like cutting down on the list a little bit too. So we're actually inviting even less people than we thought we were when we actually made the guest list. That's good. Anything else you want to say? We're going to go tux or suit looking today, but we're going to go this weekend. Suit shopping. Suit shopping, but we're not going today. We're going to go this weekend because he's too tired. So yeah, that's about the um, most of the wedding planning that we're doing today. We also tried to put the deposit down on the venue, but my card got declined because it was probably just too big of an amount. Um, so my bank probably didn't let me do it, but I called them to tell them to allow the payments, but they're closed today since it's a holiday. So I have to do that tomorrow. That ugly orange box. That's the extent of the wedding planning is what I meant to say. And I got my surfboard back today. I don't think they've seen you smile more ever than when you talk about your surfboard. True. This is true. Same for me. Oh yeah, the neon sign. You think it's cute? You gonna show them? 
I showed them when I opened it. It's cute. Should I go buzz cut for the wedding? No, then you and Harrison will actually be twins. I'll put all the videos of him asking his for bridesmaids, <laughs> his groomsmen and his best man in the video of me and me asking my bridesmaids as like the ending, but. Spin, spin, Rocco, spin. Good boy. Down. Hello, so I'm doing a little planning right now. It's Tuesday, January 18th, and it's like six o'clock at night, and I just secured our videographer, which is super exciting. But yeah, we got such a good deal because their packages are amazing. I'm not gonna really talk about who all my vendors and stuff are until probably after the wedding, just for personal and security purposes. Um, but yeah, but I'm gonna tell you how expensive it is, okay? And I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're getting with it because I wanna be transparent because me, wedding planning right now, it's so hard to find people people's like transparency and like just real honest raw experiences with wedding planning and like vendors and how much people pay and stuff and it's so helpful to know these things so what we're getting is a cinematic highlight reel which is a six to seven minute like fully edited wedding video obviously like the normal video that you're paying for you know and then we also get a 45 to 60 minute like full length movie it kind of is so like it's a little bit less edited but still edited um of like the ceremony the reception showing the prep the grand entrance the first dance the parent dances and the speeches and all that so that's really exciting that'll all be in one video and then we're also getting a sneak peek video it's a one minute video provided one week after the wedding so you don't have to wait very long for it and then we get two videographers for 10 hours which is crazy it's a long time and then we get free drone footage as long as you know the weather and stuff is fine there and the fly zone is not prohibited there and then we get audio recordings of the ceremony and reception from them we also get all the raw footage which is crazy and then i actually paid for expedited delivery <laughs> because it said it could take up to six months which is kind of normal they say two to three months but then during busy season it could take up to six months and may is very busy season so i paid an extra 250 to get it within two weeks which i think is a good deal um so with all that i'm paying 45 65 which sounds like a lot and it is a lot but you guys like once you start researching vendors and videographers yourself you're gonna find out how expensive they are so that's what we're getting for ours and how much and like what we're getting for it so yeah we're very excited their videos are amazing and i can't wait to share um who they are and stuff after that but that's done so i have my planning journal right here and you're probably like what happened to your other one that you made with your, with your cricket i still have that one that one's more for brainstorming this one's for like the hard details of everything so um they actually sent this to me it's by the paper memory so yeah i got it gifted which is so nice but look how cute it is literally the cutest planner ever so i'm gonna go in here go in like the vendor thing write in their information and all that so yeah let's do a little planning a jar regret on these pancakes over eating's a bad trait nothing gets under my skin like a handshake inject okay guys what i'm doing now is i'm going and making a little florals like inspo board on canva because i need to start looking for a floral and they're all like kind of asking what I want, you know, like to put in the budget So I need to figure out what kind of florals I want and like where I want them and stuff So I need to get a little rough estimate there for like potential calls and stuff that I need to book with them So I'm on Pinterest right now just looking at some inspo I need to make a list of like where I need florals and like for what so I have like a bouquet inspo section and I'm gonna do like table flowers inspo and then like ceremony backdrop inspo aisle inspo like that stuff and i have no idea because like okay we haven't even like completely booked our venue yet but our date is secure we're just waiting to put down the deposit which we tried to do yesterday but our banks both declined it because it's a huge amount of money so they probably did it for like fraud protection reasons so i called the bank today and they're going to improve it within the next 24 hours so then we'll be good and then after that we get a call with like a wedding planner through them so that's so nice and they have like a day of coordinator that they give us so i'll have them to work with and they can tell me like where i even am allowed to put florals and like where people usually put them so that'll be helpful once i know all that stuff but until then i'm kind of just doing it for my own inspo so yeah let's scroll through pinterest put together a little mood board for florals i'm I think I'm going for like a eucalyptus, so like green, but like sagey green, you know? And then I'm gonna add some white in there, like um, roses and probably like 
other type of white flowers and then I also want to add like peachy colors with like orangish colors if that makes any sense I don't want like salmon you know but like oranges I like kind of for some reason I don't know why but they just look really really pretty to me like here are a couple of my inspo pictures if you can even see that I don't know can you like these I love these pictures so something along those lines I think I'm gonna go with but yeah I'm gonna find more inspo now and then figure this out <laughs> Okay, I got a package, so I'm gonna open it because, okay. You have heard of the brand Ling's Moment. They sell like silk fake flowers and like floral arrangements and like greenery and stuff. So I stumbled across their website yesterday and I was like, hmm, after figuring out how much florals you're gonna be, I wanted to cry. So I'm testing this out and seeing if this could do for um, like table garlands and stuff because I'm gonna get a real bouquet, real bridesmaids bouquets and then real like groomsmen boutonnieres and stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna get all real flowers. I just decided I'm not. I'm not gonna spend $5,000 for everything to get thrown away at the end of the night. So we're going to fake flowers for some of the stuff as long as obviously it doesn't look tacky or anything. So I found them on Amazon. They have the same exact products on Amazon that companies on Amazon. So next day shift. I ordered three different things. I ordered a six foot garland, a nine foot garland, and then a, it's like a set for like a welcome sign. So it has like a bigger piece right here and then like a smaller piece for the bottom. Yeah, um, I just wanted to test the quality and the other two are coming tomorrow, but this is the six foot one. And I'm just like scared, but I'm so excited. So, ooh, okay. Okay, so if you saw my mood board yesterday, you know I'm going for like greeneries, whites, and like subtle orange tones, you know? So they have this one. I think it's called like Terracotta Sunset or something. Like that's this line. And yeah, okay. First impression. It obviously doesn't look super real, but that's okay because you're not going to get real looking flowers unless they're actually real. So the roses are silk or like foam. Wait. Something is silk. Is it the roses? I don't really know what's silk. They feel like silky foam, if that makes any sense. But what it looks like, well, here are the colors in it, which are really pretty. And you know, if I don't like a certain part of it, like these gold, tacky, I'll probably rip them off. The rest of it is really pretty. And then the centerpiece, I don't really like, so I might rip that off too. But overall, it's really pretty. So these would be for like the centers of the tables, you know? <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to unbox it. Let me show you like a closer up so you can see what it actually looks like. So here it is. Here are the flowers. You see, they do look very real and 90% of people won't even touch it anyways. So as long as it looks real, I mean, whatever. Obviously these do not look real. So these are gonna go away. So I'm gonna take all the gold stuff off. But like these flowers obviously look pretty fake, um, but they're still pretty. And then the eucalyptus, obviously it doesn't look super fake, but it doesn't look super real either. So that's that. And these little buds right here. These little, I think these are cherry blossoms, maybe. Um, yeah, the center thing's gotta go. Some more fake flowers. But overall, I think it's really pretty. Especially once I, like, take all the pieces off that I really don't vibe with. So yeah, I'll get some more people's opinions, but we'll see. Okay, you guys, it's kind of funny. This vlog is just a huge compilation of me opening random packages when I get them in. So I have another one, and I'm... So excited to open this. I'm already, I mean, I know what it is. I think I've told you before what it was, but huge box. The delivery guy was like, surfboard? Table? I was like, no. This was probably not the smartest side to open, but that's okay. Okay, that was hard as heck to unwrap. Look how beautiful this is. I'm so excited. This is obviously gonna go over like our Sweetheart table. W I L L K O M M. Just making sure it's spelled right because you know, you never know with these things. I need to look at it from like a little bit away though because it's so close to me and it's so big so I can't really see. Okay, I also got another thing. So I showed you the first garland from Ling's Moment, but then I also told you that I got like sign signage um, decor. So this is a little pack. So this would go like on the top of the sign and this would go like on the bottom of the sign like this. And I'm for sure gonna use these because it's just for the welcome sign. And like people are gonna see the welcome sign and then they're not gonna see it again for the rest of the night. So I don't wanna spend money on florals for that. So I got these and they're super cute. Obviously again, I would just take off the gold and then probably like some of the pink and maybe like the bright orange and leave like the more subtle ones. But yeah. And then in this box, I have a nine foot garland. It should be the exact same as the six foot one that I got. I just, 
I cannot decide if I want to do fake or real garlands. So I got quoted actually for garlands um, from the florist that I'm probably going to go with because I got quoted for everything else beside the garland and it was a good price. Um, but then I was like, can you just maybe tell me how much it would be if I did get table garlands? And she told me and it, I'm going to tell you, it was um, like $3,000 just for the garlands. And that's because I don't even know how many exactly... How many tables we're gonna need yet? But I'm guessing like 100, not 100, 15 tables, cause they're all eight seaters and we're having like around 125 people. So that kind of makes sense. Um, So like 15 tables and they're eight feet long. And so the garlands would have to be a little longer than that. So probably like 11. I think she charged me for 15 feet garlands so that they like hang off the table, which is really, really pretty. But yeah, so like 15 of those would be $3,000. And it would be eucalyptus and roses mixed in, which is like kind of what this is. So I just, I can't decide. I posted a TikTok about it and it actually popped off. It has like 50,000 views now, randomly. And I have so many comments on that video saying that I should go with fake and go with these garlands. I know, I know no one's gonna actually care. No one's gonna be like, oh, her flowers aren't real. But like, I love real flowers. So I'm doing it for myself, honestly. And uh, as much as I don't wanna pay the money for so many real florals, I still want to at the same time because I literally love real flowers so much. But am I even gonna see the tables more than like one or two times for the whole night? I don't know. I'm just in a huge dilemma. My dad actually has connections with, hi, you want to say hi? With um, a florist. He's reaching out to them and seeing that they're available. And if they are available, I'll reach out to them and ask for quotes and stuff. So we might go with them also, but we're still waiting to see. Yeah, florals are like the one thing that are really stressing me out right now because I don't know what to do. Uh, there's so much wedding stuff just laying around everywhere. So some random things I have in here. Extra like cricket supplies, some tool, a hot glue gun. This bride bag, I don't know if I showed you this. If I did, I'm so sorry, but I got this on Etsy. So cute, it's gold and says bride on it. Julia Chris actually got the same one, but from Lulu's, I think, and hers is silver, so that's super cute. And I really wanna get a picture of us both with them because it's just adorable, you know? And I have random other stuff, so. Guys, look what just showed up on my doorstep. I'm screaming. My dress is literally here. And if you're wondering, oh my gosh, why is it there so fast? Um, Doesn't it take like six to eight months? Yes, it does, but this is a like made to order, or not made to order, ready to wear gown, so their gowns are are just like standard sizing so then you buy like whatever size you are so I got an extra small that's what I like sized out to be um and then I have to take it into an alteration place and get it altered to fit me which is perfectly fine I don't see any you know problem in doing that I'm gonna open it up obviously I'm not gonna show you it. I'm not even gonna take it out because I don't want to like touch it and mess it up or anything because I don't need to put it on you know so open it I just want to see it in the box and then yeah I get to take it to an alteration place sometime soon oh my gosh Oh my gosh. I like fangirl over Grace Loves Lace. I don't know what it is. It's just literally everything about them is just so perfect. So please, if you're getting married, if you're dress shopping, please consider Grace Loves Lace because they're literally amazing. And not all their dresses are lace, okay? Because their name is a little deceiving, but <laughs> has a little bow on it. I take a picture of this. I'm gonna keep it in this box also. Oh, there's a note. <laughs> I did not cry trying on this dress. I'm just not a very emotional, like, I don't know, like sentimentally emotional person, I feel like. Like, I I'm emotional, trust me. <laughs> if I'm sad, I'm gonna cry. But I didn't cry trying on this dress and I didn't think I was going to. But looking at it right now, I think I might cry. I might, I need to open this letter. Let's get married. There's a how to care card. Yeah, how to care for the dress. Dear Lauren, welcome to the world of grace. That's not the dress, by the way. Or is it? Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> and this is a specific card that I can't show you about my specific dress. And it shows how exactly to care for it, how to put it on, and then there's a note. Dear Lauren, we're so excited to see you become a grace bride. We hope your wedding is everything you've ever wished for and more. Wishing you and Keiko the most magical day in future together with all of our love, Team Grace. Oh my god! Why, what the frick? I haven't even opened it yet. Comes in the, like, bag, you know? That's enough. I'm gonna keep it in the box. I'm not even gonna hang it up yet because when I get it altered and stuff, that's when I'll like actually take it out and hang it and all that stuff. For now, we're gonna leave it. Okay, I'm so happy. Hello, you guys. So happy to be able to talk to you now. I don't even know the last time I vlogged for this vlog, but it is Friday, January 28th, and we signed our contract for a venue finally last night. So today we've been in contact with the people, um, just finalizing everything, like the contract, and then also we got sent over some things from like a planning team because our venue comes with um coordinator, a day of coordinator, and like a wedding planner 
planner that we get like two meetings with, I think. So like an initial meeting going over basically everything, like everything that we need to choose, like decor and like timeline. And we get to pick the catering. We get to pick the dinner options and like the bar and all that fun stuff. We have that next week on next Friday. And then we have to schedule another one that's not till like a few weeks before the actual wedding. And that's to finalize everything like the guest count and all that. But I'm looking way too far ahead. So I just want to let you know that we finally signed the contract for the venue. So we finally have the venue. Now we can actually get to like planning everything else. So my venue requires that we get a DJ through them. So I have to go and email a bunch of DJs. I also need to get like wedding insurance and then like valet and security because they require that and then a few other things and then i need to like finalize my other vendors that i've had pending because i didn't want to sign any contracts for vendors until i'm signed a contract for the venue so that's the deal kiko is actually back from work so we get to spend the next couple days planning things that i can't really do without him while he's gone so yeah but he's surfing right now so while he's gone i'm getting little bitty things done that i can do on my own yeah that's the plan so right now i'm gonna go through and email a bunch of djs that they sent us a list of and choose one of them i don't even how do you choose a dj i feel like they're all kind of the same like you know, as long as, I don't know. I mean, I guess they can play like horrible songs and they can play really good songs, but then they're also the MC at the same time, you know? So maybe that's why some of them can be bad. I don't know, but they have a list of so many, like two pages worth of DJs. So I guess I'll do a little bit of research on them <laughs> and then figure out which one I want to go with. But yeah, this is so exciting now. Um, we're also going to pick our flower girls today. And then we also need to find, because our venue actually offers cabins for a certain amount of people to stay in so we're gonna do that um obviously you have to pay extra for it but we're doing that because it's just the best option for us and our families so we got to make a list of who we want to be in the cabins and that's gonna be kind of hard because we both have big immediate families and we have a small amount of guests that we can accommodate in those cabins so we need to make that list today too and figure out everything else regarding that so i'm gonna pick a dj right now though and get all this situated <laughs> so i have a whole list right here of all of these djs and yeah they also get photographer recs and like photo booths where you have a photographer we have a videographer we probably do have a florist. We're still deciding, but I'm pretty sure we can win this one. I also need to find an officiant and then a transportation valet and then wedding insurance. And yeah, something I didn't know about before we signed the contract um, was that we are not allowed to bring our own desserts. Which is really weird. Like it has to be from either like a bakery or like a store. Like it has to be like store bought or like from an insured baker. But like, like our families can't make the dessert which is so weird to me but it's fine i guess less stress on them just more money for us but i just thought that was a little funky so we'd either have to buy a bunch of pre-made stuff or go with like one of their dessert vendors or something because i'm pretty sure for our like dessert table we're doing a small cake for us to cut and stuff and then for all the guests we're gonna do like mini like bite-sized desserts because that's just the best option for us so yeah okay it's been a minute <laughs> it's the next day 5 30 at night and i did a few things today so i just wanted to catch you up to speed a little bit rocco just got a bath so he's wet and happy but okay so yeah yesterday i just emailed a bunch of vendors like officiants and djs and a bunch of stuff nothing concrete there yet just kind of reached out today i had my first dress fitting so i brought my dress in to a alteration place that grace loves lace recommended to me my sister went with me and we tried on my dress and basically left it there to make all the alterations that she needed to and it was amazing because my dress literally fits almost perfectly it's insane um the one i tried on like actually when i tried on dresses was the same exact size that i ordered but obviously it's been like tried on a bunch of times so probably stretched out a bunch so that one fit me a lot bigger than the one that i've tried on today the one that I actually like ordered and got shipped directly to me like a brand new one so that was amazing and it fits so well the only thing like we had to do was kind of hem the bottom a little bit because it was very long <laughs> and then take in the straps yes now you know my dress has straps but that doesn't mean anything so we just had to do that and then i think that's it like we didn't even have to take in the waist or anything like it was crazy crazy and i was so happy so that was nice so we dropped that off this morning and now we don't have an appointment until um like three weeks so like january nope not january 
February 26th, I think is the day. So that is the next time that I'll go in do another fitting and then probably until then wait like up until like two weeks before the wedding and do my last fitting and make sure it all fits and all that. So, so excited. I fell in love with the dress all over again this morning. So that was so nice and so happy. Yeah. And then also we decided on our flower girls. We're having four. What? in the world. We're having four flower girls. Two on my side and two on his side. Um, I don't really know what the norm is. I think the norm is like one to three or maybe four. I have no idea, but I feel like it's pretty normal. My sister had three in her wedding, so I don't think it really matters. They're just all gonna be really cute little girls walking down the aisle. I went and got boxes from Michael's today and then I also ordered their flower girl dresses on Amazon yesterday because uh, let me tell you, I searched high and low for some really cute white dresses for little girls and could not find any. And when I say that, I mean just like online shopping. Like I was looking at cotton on kids, Zara, H&M, Forever 21, like all those places that have kids sections and nothing had cute white dresses. So I went on Amazon and of course Amazon did not disappoint. Although it did take me forever to even find these ones. So I ordered them last night. They're already here. Are we surprised? No. So I'm going to show you them. I'm just going to show you one of them. This is what they look like. They are so, so cute. So cute. This is for our soon to be three-year-old flower girls. So hopefully they fit. If they don't fit, they need a size bigger, which I think will only be the case possibly for some of them. Then we'll just return and get a larger size but they're just adorable like look how cute these are i didn't want like crazy like first communion vibes flower dresses i think these are perfect they're just little sundresses so we got four of those they're so affordable we ordered two other things for the boxes that are coming tomorrow so i'll show you guys when those come in went to michael's today these white plain boxes i use these for my bridesmaid proposals well i got two of these that are the ones that i got before and then they didn't have any more white ones so then i got two of these ones they're like pretty much the same they just have a little hole in the top and these are a little more expensive but they're like the exact same size almost this one's the top one's a little smaller so we got four of those and then also some white filler paper i'm like going so out so extra for these things i also picked these up from walmart today you know you know how amazing these are his hair is so crazy when it's wet you can kiss Can't kiss. That's not a kiss. Um, they sell this. These at Target for like ten dollars a bag. This was three dollars at Walmart. So you can have one. Gentle. Good boy. Hello guys. Welcome back to this wedding planning vlog. I'm gonna be making the, the flower girl proposal boxes. I'm having four flower girls. I already told you all this. Anyways, I already showed you the dresses. Also got these super cute little flower sunglasses. They're just um, white ones. They're adorable. Aren't these not the cutest things ever? From Amazon also. So cute to throw in there. Lastly, these little flower girl books. It's called The Most Special Flower Girl. All the best things about being in a wedding. Just looks like this. It's a little hardcover book that's so cute and I thought they could read it. So cute. I know my nieces love books. It's obviously not their, um, you know, reading level, but it can be read to them, you know? <laughs> so we got those. I think I'm gonna assemble the boxes now because totally in a different vlog, but Julie's coming to visit today in like two hours. So I need to get all this stuff out of the living room. So I'm just gonna make the boxes now. Yeah, I'm not gonna completely make them because I still need to cricket like their names on the boxes and stuff, but I'm gonna put everything in the box first. Okay, let me show you what they look like. So cute. I'm probably gonna put like a little card like just to set in here and then probably gonna put their names like on top of the boxes. But yeah, I think they're adorable. Well, these ones are kind of see-through. You can definitely see through them, but it's okay. Did I like put more fluff under the books? I have a little bit more. Okay, that looks a lot better with the book raised. Um, but yeah, these are so cute. I'm so excited. <laughs> 